Today's Q&A is about when my bass hits, one of my amps shuts off. Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan. And I'm Brennan. So this is Q&A and today's question is from YouTube, uh, username BX Audio. And the question basically is, I have a problem uh, with when my bass hits, my mids and highs are shutting off or distorting and my headlights are dimming. I have an all active system with three amps front, rear, and sub with a Pioneer head unit. Um, basically, if he turns his subwoofer amplifier off, then the problem does not happen. He has his gain set properly. Um, but uh, what would you recommend? So uh, pretty much, it sounds to me like you have a big time voltage issue. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, you must have uh, some severe voltage drop. You could have a bad ground. Something in your charging system is no good. So yeah, obviously, uh, definitely what Alan was saying is you more than likely have a bad voltage drop, could be possible to do a bad ground. Um, I'd probably start at the amplifiers and work your way forward to the actual charging system itself. Uh, verify that your grounds are solid and separated from each other on each amplifier, uh, as well as make sure your power source is more than adequate feeding those amplifiers. Uh, as into your alternator, your battery. So definitely have your alternator tested as well as your battery, but if the vehicle's running and it's shutting off, that sounds like something Something to me. It sounds like a bad ground or a bad connection within the system. Could be a um, voltage-related voltage issue, yeah. just like you said, too. So, I mean, basically, if you have, let's say, a 1,500-watt monoblock, you're going to draw, let's just say, you know, 100 to 150 amps of current. And if you've got a four-channel amp that draws 75 amps of current and your charging system is not adequate, then your base amp is going to draw most of the current and starve the four channel amplifier for current and your mids and highs are gonna shut off. Exactly, so what I would do is run the system, get your handy dandy multimeter, if you don't have one yet, order one because it's gonna be your best friend and see what the voltage is doing when all the amplifiers are on and when it's actually shutting off. Seeing if the voltage is dropping below 12 or 11 and a half, which would cause an amplifier to actually go and protect or in turn shut off. So get one of these, measure your voltage, see what's going on from the primary charging source, and that should answer your question. So we have one more question to kind of go along with it because we're pretty much already talking about batteries and voltage and charging systems, etc. cetera. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, we have a question also from YouTube, and it's what battery would you recommend to replace the starting battery? I have, dim I have a dimming issue as well. So um, a lot of people just go on our site or go to wherever and they buy a battery. Not every single aftermarket battery that's mainly car audio related is meant to go up under the hood as a replacement starting battery. Um, they're not rated for the heat that occurs underneath the hood. So you actually need to get a battery spec specifically for a cranking battery that's probably gonna have better specs. Or you could go like XS Power or I think uh, Shuriken and a couple other ones, they make like aftermarket batteries that are high performance that are OE replacements. So they work in your OEM battery tray, they work with that specific mounting bracket. Like if you have a BMW or Mercedes, they usually have really large batteries. Well, they mount a certain way. Um, and you need to have that particular OE style fit for it to fit properly. Also, I wouldn't just say the battery is gonna solve your issue. You know, if you have an inadequate alternator, that's obviously gonna be recharging the starter battery underneath that hood. So if you have an extremely small alternator and a large system, just replacing the battery will help a tad bit, but obviously you're gonna be discharging that battery faster than the alternator can replenish that battery. So you may wanna also check out your alternator and upgrading that with like a Mechman or a DC power alternator to really help recharge your starting battery and provide the amount of power that you need to your system. So just like Brendan said with the battery, uh, battery is not always gonna solve your issue. Of course, if you have an old battery, it could solve some dimming uh, and some voltage issues there. Um, but realistically, at the end of the day, of course, you definitely want a, a good battery. Just remember that the main power source for all the electronics in your vehicle and your audio system, when the key is off, just like in the accessory position, is the battery. Once the vehicle is started, your main power source is your alternator. So both things need to be properly sized. So you need a good sized battery, a good proper, you know, properly rated battery for your setup. 
but you also need to have a properly rated alternator as well. You can't do one or the other, otherwise you're just, you know, asking for additional issues down the road. If you have a small alternator and you replace your battery, it may help your situation out for a little while, but over time, uh, the battery is gonna degrade because you're not gonna be able to properly charge it and it's not gonna last as long. Or your alternator will fail over time as well. So definitely uh, take, take a look in those two aspects there for you and uh, hopefully we're able to help you out. Once again, this is Brendan. I'm Alan. You guys have an awesome day. Peace.